hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on differential calculus in this video we'll be looking at rules of differentiation the general rule if y is equal to ax raised to power n then the y dx is a n x raised to power n minus 1 where n is real number and n is not equal to 0 in this general rule it is multiplying the coefficient of the variable by the power then reduce the power by one that is the general rule for differentiation of algebraic functions now we go to the second rule the derivative of a constant is equal to zero so if y equal to k where k is a constant then the y dx is equal to zero then the third rule the derivative of a constant multiplied by a function is the constant multiplied by the derivative of the function we can see if y is equal to k f of x where k is a constant then the y the x is equal to k multiplied by the derivative of the function so that's the rule there then the fourth rule the derivative of sum or difference of two or more functions is the sum or difference of the derivative of the functions if y is equal to f of x plus or minus g of x then the y dx is equal to the derivative of f of x plus or minus the derivative of g of x these are the basic uh, rules of differentiation for now from here we can see some solved examples solved examples we take the first example find the derivative of each of the following with respect to x a y equal to x raised to power 5 b y equal to 3 x raised to power 7 c y equal to 8 over x cubed and d y equal to cube root of x squared so starting from the first problem that's problem 1a so to find the y dx we are going to multiply the power by x to the power of 5 minus 1 we have multiplied the power which is 5 then reducing the power by 1 so we now have 5x to the power of 4 as the derivative of y equal to x raised to power 5 so we go to b the y dx will be the 7 times 3x to the power of 7 minus 1 reducing the power by 1 after multiplying the power by the function so we have it as 7 times 3 gives 21 x raised to power 6 so the derivative of y equal to 3 x raised to power 7 is 21 x raised to power 6 so we go to problem c in problem c we are going to write this as index form since this is 8 over x raised to power 3 we can have it as 8x to the power of negative 3 yeah we have uh, apply indices here so we can easily find the y the x finding the y the x this is negative 3 times 8x raised to the power negative 3 minus 1 um, negative 3 times 8 gives negative 24x raised to the power negative 4 yeah we have negative 24 x raised to the power negative 4 negative 3 minus 1 gives negative 4 we can write this in index form so we have negative 24 over x raised to the power 4 we just reverse the law we applied here so that is the derivative of y equal to 8 over x cubed so we go to problem 1d again we are going to write this in index form 
To write this in index form, we are going to maintain x raised to power 2, then this root becomes fraction. So 1 over 3 times 2 will give us x raised to power 2 over 3. So we can easily differentiate. So the y the x now will be the power which is 2 over 3 times x raised to power 2 over 3 minus 1. This 2 over 3 will be maintained. Um, 2 over 3 minus 1 gives negative 1 over 3. So we have x raised to power negative 1 over 3. We can write this in fraction. So we have 2 over 3, then over cube root of x. This is 1 over 3, forming the cube root. Because of this negative, it becomes the denominator of the fraction. That is the derivative of the function y is equal to cube root of x squared. So we've done just this to problem 1. We go to problem 2. For problem 2, given the functions a v equal to 3t cubed plus 5t squared minus 8t plus 5, find the v dt. b s equal to 8t squared plus 7t minus 3, find the s dt. So starting from a, we are going to differentiate term by term so that the v the t will be to differentiate this term 3t cube we multiply the 3 times this coefficient and reduce this power by 1 which will now give us 9t squared then the next term um, 5 times the power gives 10 reduce the power by 1 that will give you um, t raised to power 1 that will give us plus 10t then the power here is 1 so 1 times uh, negative 8 gives negative 8 this is t raised to power 1 minus 1 which gives t raised to power 0 and t raised to power 0 is 1 so we are just left with a negative 8 so we have it as minus 8 the derivative of a constant is 0 the 0 will be ignored so the derivative of the function in v which gives the v dt to be 90 squared plus 20 minus 8 we go to b s is 8t squared plus 70 minus 3 um, the s dt will be 8 times 2 16 t raised to power 1 if the power is reduced by 1 so I have a 16t then um, this is t raised to the power 1 times 7 7 reduce this t by 1 it goes so we have the derivative of the function as 16t plus 7 so we go to problem 3 but to find the differential coefficient of the function um, derivative of a function is also known as differential coefficient it is also known as the gradient function but to find the differential coefficient with respect to x so we solve the problem to find the derivative of this function we split it into individual fractions so we have uh, this over this this over this and the third term divided by the denominator so we have it as uh, 5x to the power of 4 over x cube plus 3x to the power of 3 over x cube minus 7x to the power of 6 over x cube so we can simplify further if this cancel this we'll be left with 5x then this x cube will cancel x cube i'll be left with 3 and uh, minus 7 x raised to power 3 this is x raised to the power 6 minus 3 which is x raised to the power 3 so we have simplified the function to this we can easily find the y dx so to find the y dx here this is x raised to the power 1 times 5 5 
reducing this power by one x is gone we have the derivative of this 5x to be 5 derivative of a constant is 0 so we ignore that one then this is minus 7 times 3 gives negative 21 reducing the power by 1 will be left with minus 21 x squared so this is a derivative which is also known as the differential coefficient of the function given in the problem to give us the y dx equal to 5 minus 21 x squared this is the end of solution to problem 3 and uh, this is the end of this uh, tutorial please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel also visit oninabresources.com slash youtube videos to view all the videos on this channel which have been uh, categorized there remember also to check the description section to this video to get the links to other videos on differential calculus on our youtube channel until we come your way again goodbye